So I built this electric bicycle and I purchased a lithium iron phosphate 48 volt 15 amp hour battery pack and it works for me most of the time. However, I do feel like sometimes the range is just a little bit too short and I did have the battery cut out on me a few times and I need to have more energy carried with me while I go electric bike riding. So there are two solutions. <clears throat> One is to buy a new battery pack which costs a lot of money that I don't want to spend. The second option would be I have some power tool battery that's lying around 90% of the time doing nothing. So I thought if I could make them work for me and I purchased this MPT7210A maximum power point solar charge controller. Idea of the maximum power point solar charge controller is for any solar panels you have a maximum voltage it can provide Vmax here and then when you sh completely short out the uh, solar panel you'll get a, a current max we'll call it I max and then there's a linear line con connecting between the Vmax and Imax I say if you oper operate your solar panel at very high voltage but very little current and the power of it is calculation is voltage power the unit is watt is equals to voltage volt times current which is amps. So if you operate your solar panel at this point as very high voltage but low current, the voltage time current is going to be low. The same if you operate at very high current but very low voltage, you're getting very low power as well. So if you operate your solar panel at this region, you're going to get the maximum power Hence, this is a maximum power point. And that's all there is to the controller. It can adjust which point it operates along this line. So all there is is just a smart boost controller. So if I feed my tool battery, which is rated at 40, 40 volts, and then the battery pack I'm planning to charge is at 48 volt, in theory, this will work. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, these are the DeWalt flexible battery that I have. I happen to have these just because I use DeWalt tools. In fact, any t lithium power tool battery will work. And these are rated at 20 volt, 6 amp hour, which in fact they are 18 volt. 6 amp hour. So each of them will have 20 volt, which is actually 18, times 6 amp hour, and that gives you 108 watt hour of energy. And then I have two of them, 108 watt hour times 2 equals to 216 watt hour. The battery I have on my electric bike is 48 volt at 15 amp hour and then that gives me 720 watt hour. So <clears throat> I'm getting a 30% increase on my energy capacity. That sounds very good in theory. So for these batteries, I purchased the battery terminal that somebody on eBay 3D printed this and I'll try to link in the video description or the comment. And then they just slide on the battery. You have two power leads that you can get the uh, power out. I bought this toolbox from local Walmart. 
This is a 12.5 inch toolbox. And then these batteries fit almost perfectly in here. In fact, I just had to put a little bit of these uh, felt padding for furniture and then they will just slide smoothly in there and it, they don't they don't move either and then the second battery will be somewhere here my charge controller is going to be sitting in here this will be my electric bike boost pack that gives me in theory 30% more range Okay, now these are all connected. Then we will put the batteries in. I put two in series because these two, uh, this controller can take anywhere between 12 to 60 volt input and output at maximum of 84 volt. So this is only a boost converter. And then two of these will get me to 40 volt, which is still under. 48 volt rated voltage on my battery pack. There. Okay, it's working. I'm gonna connect this charging cable, which it is a just regular household computer cable or something, but uh, my electric bed. Electric bike battery uses this type of port. In electric bike, this is neutral and the white is positive. I'm pretty positive about it. And the green, the, the ground is just doing nothing. Into this toolbox. So when using it, this is my electric bike. Just take this, put it here, secure it, take this out, plug it in the charging port, turn on the power. And click OK. Right now the battery is full, so we can see this indicator is just like freaking out. But uh, when you are using the bike, it will start charging at the voltage and current is specified. And cut off when the voltage is too low, which is also needs to be set. <laughs> 